Your dirty ass wig. Okay, we really doing this the next day. First of all, I was drunk. I had, y'all seen me go to season 52. And baby, when I say those French 75 were hitting, they were hitting, okay, it was so good, so worth it. Um, it was a nice little vibe. It's Saturday, I really don't have nothing planned today. Tomorrow I do plan on putting up my tree and I have to do laundry. So that's like my tomorrow's plans. Um, today we are, like we're going to Daytona, just because the band's of a band. She's been asking me to go. She wants to go see the beach. And so we're probably gonna go do that today. Daytona is really not far from me. It's like a 30 minute drive, 40 minute drive, if that. Um, it's just really not much to do in Daytona other than go to the beach. So we'll probably take a ride over there later today. Um, I'm just doing my makeup right now. I have just been really consistent with making sure I get myself together every single day. I truly, I y'all see me complain about this like in a recent vlog. Like I literally have to put on makeup every day to film. And I've been having to do it so much. So I kind of just got kind of equipped to just waking up, you know, brushing my teeth, washing my face, eat my breakfast, whatever. And then I immediately get myself together. Even if I don't have plans for the day, even if I don't plan on doing nothing, even if I don't have nothing to film, um, I just like to get myself together first and then I can go enjoy my day, whatever I decide to do. That's kind of the vibe here. I definitely feel like when I get older, I'm gonna be one of those women that wear makeup every day. Like I need my makeup as a woman. Like if you took all my makeup away, I will cry. I need makeup. And I don't know if that's just, I'm not saying that because I feel like I'm like ugly or anything, but it's like, I have to put myself together. Cause I look dead. Like I, I mean, you know, I just look dull and boring. I need the kind of look alive. And that is why I wear makeup. Like my old folks say, I gotta put my face on. Okay, that's me. I gotta put my face on. I got to put my face on. And not every single day. Like, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Like, you can get away with just skincare and a lip gloss. You know, yes, you can. But for me, I feel like I just have to look alive. Like, in order for me to look alive and, like, even approachable, I have to put on makeup. I look approachable. I look old and dusty. Hey, Kristen. Leave me alone. I am really over this wig. It is fried, dyed, and laid to the motherfucker side, okay? This wig is burnt. I wish I could smell my hair. Baby, this wig is burnt. Burnt, burnt, burnt. When they sent it to me, it was real silky. I'm talking about like, I could barely put it in a ponytail silky, okay? When I tell you, and my flat irons, they go up to, um, is it 450 degrees? Yes. And I'm not a hairstylist or nothing, but for me, cause y'all know I be liking to curl my hair. I be having this bitch on 450 degrees. Like when I'm flat ironing it, when I'm curling it, like this be on the maximum setting. This shit stink. My hair, like it just smells like burnt hair. Like I wish I could smell this. Hair is fried, dyed, and laid to the side. So I am ready for a new wig, okay? And what I'm gonna start doing now is I'm gonna start selling these wigs. I have so many wigs and I've seen other creators do this and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna join the bandwagon and some of them have like little cute websites that they would link their wigs on like they're used gently used wigs and pretty much people buy it off of them but they they have a website for it and so i kind of started that process i haven't finished it but um yeah i'm gonna start selling my used wigs if you're interested it will all be done very very soon 
I mean, hopefully, like, honestly, I can do that shit today if I really want to. I got to sit down at the computer and, like, hustle it out. Um, but hopefully within the next couple of days, I will be selling some of these wigs. If you are interested, make sure you check them out. I have a lot. And it does be, you know, if, I don't know, like, because a lot of people have stigmas, like, why the fuck would I buy a used wig off somebody? For me, I feel like the quality of hair that I get as an influencer, sometimes it's a little better. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, you know, versus being like a regular consumer. Um, so you're getting a really, really good quality wig for a very, very discounted price. Because we do get, and I do feel like the wigs they supply us is really, really good. Like, of course, they're gonna give us the best wigs, obviously, because we got it from them. So, yeah, you get a really, really good wig for a fraction of the cost. Everything is pretty much done with you, was done with as far as like pre plugged, pre bleached, all of that. You know, I would love to have the wigs washed and ready to go for you guys. If you are interested, the wig will be, you know, washed, ready to go. Okay, it will be nice and clean for you to indulge in. Um, so, yeah, if you are looking for a wig, if you need a used wig, if you need something quick, I mean, they'll be reasonable prices because the real prices of these wigs, like if you really go to these hair companies and buy a wig straight out, you're looking at $400, $400. like especially a long, nice wig, okay? Now, you got some glueless wigs out there, if you wanted them girls, you can find some nice glueless wigs for like $100 on um, Amazon, you know, but um. Yeah, for like a nice quality, quality wig, long, luscious wig. Yeah, it's you better off buying it off of someone else because, yeah, you won't come out paying a lot of money. Just a thought. But I will have that up very, very soon. And then I'm going to start to put that in my description box as well. I'm just nervous, like, because you know how eventually YouTubers, like, they will start to create merch and stuff and, you know, like, kind of open up their business title to opening a business a salon a boutique you start to see that you you know creators branch out to do um businesses and stuff and for me i feel like this will be a good test just having this little website business thing just selling my way that's just a good test to see how we can manage it and you know get some sales going how to actually run a small little business i think this is a good way to test that but i'm still a little nervous like what if you don't buy these wigs what if nobody buys them what if they just sit there you know what if somebody just say like bitch fuck no we ain't buying your dirty ass wig i'm gonna feed my family i'm gonna feed my family <sighs> but that's a small little project i'm about to work on And then I had to film, I'm, I'm probably going to refilm it because I had to, I have to film like a small sponsorship and that's kind of what I was doing last night. But girl, when I tell you my wig looked so disgusting during those clips, I was like, damn, they gonna really clown me for the way my wig looks like. Um, it just gave really, really weak. Like, and I don't know. I feel like I want to refilm it. It's not going to take me long. It's really not a big deal, but, um, yeah, I might refilm that because this, my hair looks a lot better today. Last night I was very much lit. You can still kind of see this. I got to lay this down. to get my um, contacts that will be soon. I almost, 
you know 1-800 contacts like I'm sure you guys have heard of that brand I almost 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 had a sponsorship opportunity with them um but my prescription for my contacts expired so I had to get an eye exam and I couldn't get it done by the time they needed it because they was like you know we was hoping you could do it within the next 72 hours I said oh no that ain't gonna happen so that was kind of a bus kind of kind of a bus the thing with contacts though because I don't have insurance at least like vision insurance so I have to pay out of pocket for contacts but the exam for contacts is so expensive for me because I have like a little bit of astigmatism. I don't see why that fucking matters, but I can't just go in and get a regular, regular contact exam. I gotta get the expensive one. The self are not expensive. That's easy to keep up with. But the exam, baby, they be taxing. Like where I came from, I can get an exam done and like, for like $60, which to me is like amazing. But here, or they want like, it's gonna be at least $200, $250 for a contact lens exam. 